since the training camp so far? It's been, honestly, it's been really tough, you know, just because the intensity level is there and um, there's high expectations from last year's season. So, you know, it's been tough, but it's been a lot of fun too. You know, the team's great about getting in there and, uh, you know, having fun, but also getting down to business. In draft day, you talked about how you grew up idolizing Lindsey Whalen. Mm -hmm. How was the relationship between uh, veteran and rookie mentor and student? How's that going? It's been going really well. Honestly, Lindsay has done a great job with kind of taking me under her wing and kind of letting me in on like little things that she can any which way. Um, you know, she's just been nothing but a great mentor for me to have and I've been so fortunate to get to work with her. What's it like to play with this much talent? It's unbelievable to think that one team has three Olympians and all these big name players and just so many talented players. It's just been so cool to, to get, just to get in here and and kind of see what they're about and, and see the work ethic, ethic that you need to have in order to be a successful team. And also, it honestly wasn't that bad. You know, we, um, the way that Cheryl Reeve, you know, she runs her system was pretty similar to what I, I did in college. So the transition part of offensively and defensively hasn't been that big of a difference. Um, I would say the biggest thing has been the quickness, you know, just how fast people will close out to you in regards to, you know, on defense and how fast they can recover. So I think that's one of the biggest differences that there has been. Oh, man. Um, you know, I think honestly just – the fact that I get to come to work every day and, and play basketball, I think it's been a, one of my favorite moments so far. Speaking of favorites, so you mentioned one of your show, favorite shows is Big Bang Theory? Or? Yeah, Big Bang Theory. I love it. It's so funny. And, you know, I think in the beginning I wasn't too sure about it, but I absolutely love it. I think it's hilarious. And just overall, I mean, how have your teammates adapted to you and your personality you know, being a fan of Big Bang other shows? Like um, you know, I think it's – They've been really accepting because obviously I think everyone has like their own little niche and you know things that they like and I think it's the diversity of the team that makes this team so strong because they're so willing to accept different things about other people and it's just been it's been really cool to kind of mesh with the team. What is what is Cheryl the coaching staff told you that they are expecting from you this year? You know, just to come in and, and be a solid player for Lindsey Whalen. You know, obviously if she's coming off the floor then um, you know, they want someone that's going to be able to step into that leadership. And even though it's a veteran team, um, you know, to kind of be like, okay, this is what we're going to run and be confident in, in my abilities and just kind of – and not be, um, you know, a, a down thing. You know, be something that's positive and um, helps the team or maintains the team, whatever is going on. And then this team was made into the championships in the last two seasons. Mm -hmm. so give you additional pressure just to be here? Uh, you know, I don't necessarily think it's pressure. You know, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of that, and I think I've been, I've been put in the best situation that I have, like, could have been um, coming out of the draft. And so, honestly, I think it's more excitement, you know, just knowing that they have that championship mentality and that that's where they want to get back to, you know. And so I love to win, so I think I'm in the best situation possible. And how do you think Nebraska prepared you to take on this professional I think Nebraska helped a lot, honestly. You know, Coach Ori, um, she's tough in the way that we, we run practices and we do things and drills and everything, the breakdown of it. Um, you know, I definitely think that that's helped. She's been a perfectionist, especially with me, to making sure that I'm the best that I can be for the next level. Can you talk about what it's like to play for a fan base like that, too? You know, like, women's basketball has gotten a lot more popular there in recent years, and uh, it's kind of the same deal here with the success of this program. Yeah, you know, it's it's been really cool to come from a program like that just because there's so much fan support for all the sports, you know, and I think that's really special because I don't know necessarily if you get that everywhere, you know, and our fans have stuck through us through the good, the bad, the ugly times, all of it, and they just are still right there for us, you know, and I think that's really special. And so coming to Minnesota, like I've heard great things about the fan base, so I'm so excited to be a part of that. Uh, you know, I was kind of shocked because I was like, it's. I think everyone just sitting there and it's kind of surreal when like you hear your name called because you're like, that didn't just happen. Like you're kidding and stuff. So it was just really cool to have my name being called and know that, you know, I could have this be my job. You know, I don't think necessarily everyone gets to do their dream job every day. So to be able to do that and have that ability, it was just been so awesome. Did you instantly think of some of the recognizable names you'd be playing with? Oh, yeah. You know, obviously Minnesota has had a great run at the finals the last two years, you know, and so it's been so crazy to think about that I'll be playing with three Olympians and I'll be playing with all-stars and all these people on the team really could have 
everything like they could all be Olympians. Or, you know, it's just it's just so competitive on this team, but it's so exciting to be a part of. Now you grew up kind of you know, idolizing Lindsey Whalen. How much do you think players of your generation have have kind of grown up and, and, and maybe idolized the WNBA and kind of looked at that more as as their example than, than the NBA? You know, and some of the older generations when the WNBA wasn't. Really yeah, you know, I've been really fortunate to grow up with the WNBA. You know, obviously players, um, you know, that were around the league kind of first couple of years, they didn't really get the opportunity. So the fact that I can look up to a female athlete and try to model my game after a female athlete, I just think it says so much about where the league's come and, um, you know, and, and how much people have improved um, and have stepped up their game for the league. Um, hi to my family back home in Seattle, fans in Nebraska. Um, you know, I just want to say thanks to everyone for your support. On that note, uh, it was announced uh, this morning that the Kings will not be relocating to Seattle. Yeah. Uh, the Sonics. Yeah. You know, it's it that's been tough. I think honestly, especially with being away from home. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, it's it's just been different than. You know, I've just always grown up with the Sonics, and so, but I've loved the Storm. Like, we've had season tickets when I was growing up, you know, so I've always been around the Storm, but it just makes me sad, you know, no Gary Paytons are going to be in, in Seattle or anything.